O'Reilly has amazing books. There is no doubt about it. And today I will talk about my favorite one around cloud. Nine seven things every cloud engineer should know. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. The channel where I will talk more about software engineer, architecture, and how to be more effective and more productive to move your career to the next level as automated sophisticated engineer. So if you enjoy the context, uh, please subscribe to my channel, give the like, and let's talk about the, the, the book. The book is amazing, it's great is worth each one of the nine seven tips. So it has multiple authors where every author give one tip. It's around one or two page around cloud topic. I will just show my favorite one and put highlight on those. So the first one is use, use managed service please by the more. This one is great, especially because uh, the cloud is not somebody else server or computer. It can, it can go even more. It's somebody else problem. You can delegate the complexity to somebody else handle that for you. Or talk about database. You have database as service where we don't need to pay attention to upgrade the database around scalability and also the backup and things like that anymore. So if your team does not have somebody who knows deep around this database, what not de delegate it to a company who can do it, it better than you? So if you talk about Cassandra, why not use Astra? If you uh, talk about MongoDB, Atlas provides a better server, a better service for you and the, this company has the engineers that are building this technology. So when you can, try to don't waste time on that. Use somebody who knows better on that point for you. So my advice for you is use managed service, please. Uh, and Amazon have RDS. Okay, I don't need to know deeply around MySQL. I can delegate that to Amazon. Especially when talk about organization, I need to think about career, path, and things like that. So why not delegate? Usually people talk about the price. Okay, do manually is cheaper than pay to somebody else to do that. That's true. But it's like pizza, right? I mean, I can do everything by my bare hands, but I need to handle the risk because if something goes wrong, I need to handle that. I need to handle the, the focus because I need to spend time to do one thing that does not impact my business. So the first one is more uh, around that. So use managed service, please, by the, the more. The next one is Michelle Brenner, where she explained why every engineer should be a cloud engineer. I like that most, especially because everybody's moving to the cloud, okay? Uh, the third one is the reason that I created the, the channel. The ultimate sophistication is the simplicity. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci said that and I enjoy it a lot. And keep it simple is usually the best way to solve any kind of issue. Especially because you can focus on the issue instead of create over here where we need to handle with two things. The business, the goal, and also the unnecessary thing that you put accidentally. Uh, the fourth one is containers are magic. Of course, everything software architecture has trade off. Everything software engineer has trade off and containers are not exception. So good advice. Okay. This one here is kind of funny, especially because right now everybody wants to put product in uh, Kubernetes on production. And it's okay if you're not using or running Kubernetes is link it with the managed service. You can use PaaS, Platform as a Service. You can use Platform as Sage. You can use 
another path to make your life easier. Especially because, again, you can focus on your business. You don't need to have an operation team inside. Of course, mainly if you are a startup company. So focus on creating your business and delegate it to a company who can do it better than you. It's okay if you don't know everything. Uh, those are the tips. It's a valuable book, worth a book. I usually read that more often. Um, and that's my recommendation for today. That's why you should read this book. Of course, it has more. But anyway, please let me know what you think about this book. Do you, uh, did you read this book? What are the topics that you enjoy most? Um, put your comments, your thoughts. Give the like if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you enjoyed the idea to become an ultimate sophisticated engineer, subscribe on my channel.